Meghan Markle is allegedly feuding with Kate Middleton and facing rumors of being demanding with palace staff. But royal experts have advised that Meghan should seek advice from the Queen to navigate through these difficult times, as Prince Harry's aunt, Sophie Wessex, did. Experts told The Sunday Times that Sophie, 52, also had a tricky start as she joined the royal family and sought help from the Queen to weather the storm. The source says Meghan Markle should follow suit and that the Queen would be receptive to offering some guidance to adjusting to life under constant scrutiny. The expert said, Her Majesty has seen it all and could offer the Duchess some helpful advice at the moment. Meghan would do well to nurture that relationship and pop over for the occasional cup of tea with the Queen. That is what Sophie Wessex has quietly done so well. When she joined the royal family, the Countess of Wessex had a rocky start to her new life. Sophie who was previously known as Sophie Rhys Jones, ran her own public relations firm when she became engaged to Prince Edward, and kept working after they tied the knot. She had a series of uncomfortable brushes with the media, but made the early choice to make a close ally in the Queen and now is an active member of the royal family. The source said, she will go over for a chat, or take the children to watch some TV with her. She has built up that relationship. Now they are incredibly close and discuss everything. Meghan doesn't need an invitation, this is a family, after all. Luckily for Meghan, she already appears to have a positive relationship with the Queen, and the pair were seen giggling during their first official engagement together earlier this year. The pair traveled to Cheshire in June, a month after her May wedding, and was seen getting on famously with Her Majesty at the opening of a new bridge across the River Mersey. However, there have been reports of the Queen having tense negotiations over what tiara Meghan could wear at the royal wedding. We reported how she initially wanted a tiara that featured emeralds, according to royal sources. But the future Duke and Duchess of Sussex were unhappy when told her first choice was impossible, as no one knew exactly where it came from. A well-placed royal insider said, there was a very heated exchange that prompted the Queen to speak to Harry. She said, Meghan cannot have whatever she wants. She gets what DR she's given by me. Meghan eventually wore a diamond and platinum headpiece which was chosen by the Queen. Recently a number of potentially damaging stories have appeared in the UK press that have focused on a growing hostility between the Duchess of Sussex, 37, and the Duchess of Cambridge, 36. Among the rumours, none of which have been confirmed, include Meghan causing Kate Middleton to cry after a bridesmaid fitting for her daughter Charlotte. There has also been speculation the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are moving out of Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in the grounds of Windsor Castle due to tensions between the two households. Tensions may have started as early as last Christmas when Meghan is said to have suggested she did not feel entirely welcome with all members of the royal family. Prince Charles is said to have tried to smooth things over with an invite to Anmer Hall, William and Kate's country home but it backfired and the couples reportedly had a ghastly row.